just in. August is hotter than ever at Appalachian Wireless as they are slashing all normal contract pricing on all smartphones by 50% when you sign up for service. Better service, bigger savings. Serving you for the last 25 years at Appalachian Wireless. This morning, family and friends of the late Lucy Kinzer gathered as transportation captain officials unveiled the sign for the Lucy Kinzer Memorial Bridge in Floyd County. Lucy Kinzer died last year just a few months after celebrating her 70th wedding anniversary to her husband Willard. Several speakers remembered Kinzer today for her life of hard work, dedication to her family, and her tireless service to the community. Most everybody hears about our father, but uh, our mother, she's the glue that really, like in most families, held everything together. And she was also very moral and, and always showed us the right direction to go in. You know, my mom and dad used to tell me all the time, son, you don't brag on yourself. You, you, you live the life that you are meant to live, and people will brag on you for you. And, and Lucy Kinzer is that lady. She didn't brag on herself. She didn't ask for none of this. She wouldn't probably want this, Willard, if she was here today to say, I'm not deserving. And she is every bit deserving of this, along with you. EKB News reporter Shannon Deskins recently visited with Willard Kinzer as he talked about the love of his life and their more than 70 years together. She brings us this report. For me, she was... She was my life, that was it. We were married 70 years when she passed away. I just can't get over it. Nearly everyone who spent any time around Willard and Lucy Kinzer says the love they had for each other was straight out of a storybook. Looking back, Willard says it all started one day when he stopped in for lunch at the restaurant Lucy's mother owned in Martin, Kentucky. A little girl came out and she danced all over the place and uh, I thought she was the cutest little girl I ever saw. She was probably at that time uh, uh, 14, 13 and a half or 14 and I was 15 I guess. And it was in that same small town that he proposed to Lucy a couple years later. In the, in the theater hmm. uh, there at Martin. And, uh, or she, she accepted right fast. <laughs> Lucy and Willard raised a family and built one of the most successful businesses in eastern Kentucky. But Lucy remained humble and was, according to Willard, always thinking of others. This one lady walked up and looked at it and said, I believe that's the prettiest jacket I ever saw. Lucy just pulled it off and gave it to her and never asked her who she was. And she never did know who we was, but she just did things like that. Willard says he has always had a need for speed, and when he decided in his mid-70s to start drag racing, Lucy became his biggest supporter. She went with me every place just about that I went. Drag racing, she loved it. And she loved it up until the end. I missed the last race, and uh, I, I wouldn't leave her. At 88 years old, Willard Kinzer still races, but reminders of his beloved Lucy are everywhere, and he still visits her every day. If you have ever doubted that true love really exists, you never met Willard and Lucy Kinzer. Reporting in Floyd County for EKB News, I'm Shannon Deskins.